Hi, I'm Shauna, and I'm an artist working in video, performance, and installation. Hi, I'm Nick Hallett. I'm a composer and a cultural producer. I also like to sing. Our creative capital project is called Whispering Pines Infinity. Whispering Pines is the video art series I began in 2002 and is named after the mobile home park I grew up in near Yosemite, California. I appear in the videos as my alter ego, Cynthia, who is essentially me when I am alone. <laughs> Cynthia seeks wellness, salvation, and a deep connection to nature in order to escape her physical and psychological pain. She ends up finding hope in disposable trends, mass-marketed pharmaceuticals, and new age kitsch. In 2010, uh, Shauna and I collaborated on the performance work Whispering Pines 10, transposing her soap opera format into the realm of actual opera, featuring my original music and libretto. What you're seeing here is a clip of a documentary that Art21 released last year about our production at the New Museum of Contemporary Art. The story of the opera tracks Cynthia's desire to become an environmental activist, even though she lacks the ability to leave her home. Uh, it's through this lens of futility we wish to unpack the moral dilemmas of the 21st century. The set of Whispering Pines 10 is an interactive video projection. I place my body within it to explore tensions between the virtual and real, integrating lo-fi digital effects to bring Cynthia's struggles and fantasies to life. Cynthia navigates this landscape as one would engage with the internet. Our creative capital project is to take this stage work and adapt it for the internet itself. Here are some tests to show what it may look and sound like. Um, our goal for this webcast version of Whispering Pines 10 is to bring this work to a new audience, but also to imagine an innovative architecture for the presentation of opera online. We want to create a delivery system that serves the work's investigation of the technology that creates it, unearthing the inner psychology of the internet. Woman in the Images from a performance last year at Krikoteka in Krakow, where the opera was translated into Polish. Since receiving the Creative Capital grant, we have been developing a new visual and sonic vocabulary for this internet adaptation. I'd like to work with 3D animation to further its aesthetic, which plays with ideas of flatness, perspective, and dimensionality. We want to ask, what might opera look and sound like from the palm of your hand? I'm also interested in technologies to des designed to expand human consciousness, especially, especially ones that are on the verge of becoming camp. Um, Deep Dream, Google's new AI imaging technique, is a current obsession, and I'd love to implement psychedelic puppy slugs into the visual design for Whispering Pines 10. So after the Creative Capital Retreat, Shauna and I will meet up in Yosemite, California for some on-location shooting. Uh, we'll reconvene, reconvene again later this November in Europe for additional production, but Shauna and I no longer live in the same city. So we are seeking residencies and studio opportunities to complete the filming. We're also working on Whispering Pines 11, a new video opera which will look at the landscape of the desert as a mecca for spiritual and artistic and scientific expansion and the cultural neurosis passed down from Manifest Destiny. Uh, we hope to uh, complete production of our internet opera by the end of 2015, and then in 2016 we'll build the web component for launch later that year. That will include features like a series of remixes of the score commissioned from a group of all-female electronic music producers. Um, but what we need is help creating the architecture of this web project and guidance in distributing it to the broadest possible audience. We'd really like to thank Creative Capital for the opportunity to build upon our past work and to tell this story in a new way. There's a little bit of Cynthia in all of us, just a little bit. And through our ability to sympathize with her desires and laugh at her failures, we hope we can look at ourselves as individuals and as a culture. And from that place, 
think creatively about social change. Thank you.